Okay, so now that you've made all three of the leaves for your shamrock, we're going to put them together. And we're going to put them together the same way that we made each of them, simply with our felting needle. So what I do is I lay them out like this. Um, and then first I'll put one, and I'm just going to make sure that the tip of one overlaps with the tip of the one underneath. I'm just going to hold them in place where I want them. And I'm just going to poke a few times. And even that, it's starting to stick together. It doesn't take very much. I'm going to take this, the third one, and I'll put that overlapping those points. Keeping my fingers far enough away from the needle, of course. And just do a few pokes. You can kind of move them into place as needed to make sure that they're far enough apart. Okay, so now we have this section. The last step will be to make our little stem and attach that. So as you can see, you have a little bit of a seam here where we attached all three of the lobes of the leaves there. So we're going to use our stem, one end of it. We're going to leave it a little bit fuzzy so that we can kind of cover up that seam. So I'll show you how we're going to do that. So for the stem, you're going to take a pretty small piece of wool. What I like to do is spread it out. So this is very thin. If you can see that, you can see my hand through it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it up. I'm going to roll it up as tight as I can into a, a long sort of tube. And again, when you roll it up, it's going to look thicker than it's ultimately going to be. So you're going to end up with something like this. So I'm going to put that on the pad. Again, if you have finger guards, this is a good time to use them. Otherwise, just be very careful. And I'm just going to felt this a little bit along the length of it. I'm going to turn it, and I'm going to rotate it basically once completely, felting along the length of it like this. I'm not working on either end. I'm just going along the top, the length of it that's facing me as I rotate it. So you're going to end up with something like that. The next thing I'm going to do is just in my hands, roll it back and forth like this. This is actually going to continue felting it a little bit and make it a little bit narrower. Just kind of reinforce the work that we already did. So it almost looks like a little dreadlock. So this will do for our stem. What I am going to do is just kind of curl up the end, the what's going to be the bottom end of the stem, and I'm just going to felt it a little bit so that it's a little bit um, tighter at the bottom, a little bit flat. So I'm just kind of evenly felting along the bottom of it. And just again, be really careful with your fingers. And you could opt not to do this if if you don't want to. I just like to make the bottom of it tucked in a little bit so it won't come unrolled on me or get too fuzzy. So that's all, just so it's like a little bit finished. And then I, I could go along and felt it just a little bit more using really light pressure as I go so that I'm only reaching the surface of this and not pushing the fibers through the other side a bit. Okay, so and I can keep rolling it a little bit more just to reinforce that. What I'm going to do with this top part here is I'm actually just going to kind of tease it apart a little bit because I want that that end to be a little bit fuzzy because it's going to make it easier for us to attach it to the rest of our shamrock. And since we didn't felt it too tightly, it shouldn't be too hard to pull just that top part apart. So it'll look kind of like this, if you can see that. So I'm going to take my leaves, my shamrock shape there, I'm going to put this with the fuzzy part, I'm going to put the stem with the fuzzy part overlapping the leaves there. And then I'm just going to hold that and I'm going to gently felt it into place. So again, using light pressure so that I don't push it all the way through the other side. I want to keep the nice smooth surfaces that I've worked really hard to create. And you're just going to felt all those little fuzzy bits over 
as far as they reach on each of the leaf sections, the lobes. If you need to, you can flip it over and just work on a little bit from that side. If you have big seams there and you're worried about it coming apart, you could even take just a little wisp of wool and kind of put it over the seam and then just felt it into place just to reinforce the strength right there so they don't come apart but that's optional it'll depend on how tightly you felted each of the lobes to begin with sometimes what I like to do to finish it is just to make a indented line from in the center of each of these lobes just to give it a little bit of dimension so I would start on one of the lobes and starting at the indent, I would just felt very in, in pokes that are very close together like a sewing machine. And if you do that and you repeat those pokes along that line, it will actually create an indented line. So that just gives the leaf, each lobe of the leaves a little bit of dimension. And I kind of pinch it in towards the center as I go just to reinforce that narrowed shape. So you can turn it as you work and do that along each of the little lobes of the leaves. And you can kind of turn the stem however you want. And there you go. You have a shamrock. You could turn it into a magnet. You could glue a magnet on the back or a pin or just have it sitting out. So thank you so much for staying in tonight and for joining me to make this. Happy St. Patrick's Day.